In a shocking turn of events, the Orange County Sheriff's Office mourns the loss of one of its own, Lieutenant Eloilda Ellie Shea. Her husband, Anthony Shea, a former sergeant, has been accused of her murder. Let's delve into the tragic story of a life cut short and a betrayal that shook the very fabric of the department. Please like and subscribe to our channel as we bring you real life stories every week. Former Orange County Police Sergeant Anthony Shea, who was a police officer for 18 years, was forced to resign in August 2024 after an internal affairs investigation found that he had sexual relations with a woman while on duty. His wife, Ellie, who was also a police officer, was devastated by the betrayal and the couple began having marital problems. On October 14, 2024, 49-year-old Anthony Shea called 911 to report that he found his 39-year-old wife, Ellie Shea, dead. Deputies responded to the Shea's residence, where they found Ellie deceased with a gunshot wound to her head. Anthony Shea told the investigators that he and his wife had been arguing the night before the murder. His wife was still upset that he cheated on her. On the day of the murder, Anthony said his wife Ellie told him that she needed some space, so he took their two kids to the grocery store. He returned 40 minutes later and found his wife had killed herself. Initially, the scene was staged to appear as if Ellie had killed herself. Upon further investigation, police realized that Ellie could not have died the way Anthony described. Anthony then claimed he found Ellie dead and staged the scene to look like she did it herself. However, detectives discovered an audio recording on Ellie's phone contradicting his story. He was then arrested and charged with first-degree murder. Sheriff John Mina mourned Ellie Shea, calling her a rising star who deeply cared about her work with the agency. She had served at his department since May 2011. Sheriff Mina also shared this statement. We have all struggled this week with feelings of shock, grief, and guilt while we tried to make sense of Ellie's death, which was meant to appear as a suicide. I want to thank our homicide detectives who had the extraordinarily difficult job of investigating a colleague's murder for their diligence in ensuring justice for Ellie. It's devastating to know we will never again be on the receiving end of Ellie's kindness or warm smile. We pray for her two girls, the rest of her family, and all of those who love her. Anthony Shea is currently held without bond in the Orange County Jail as he awaits trial. The murder of Ellie Shea serves as a stark reminder of the devastating consequences of domestic violence and the importance of supporting those affected. As we remember Ellie, we honor her life and legacy. We look forward to seeing Anthony being tried and convicted. Hello everyone, DJ here, and I'm very upset about this case. Let me give you a little timeline of what happened. Anthony Shea is a police officer in Florida and his wife, Ellie, is also a police officer. In August 2024, Anthony was found to be having sexual relations while he was on duty. Internal Affairs investigated and they found that Anthony was indeed having sexual relations with someone while he was on duty. So Anthony was about to be fired. And instead of being fired, Anthony decided to quit, to resign. So Anthony left the police force and he had to go home and tell his wife. So Anthony went home and told his wife that he was fired because he was having an affair. And he had to tell her the truth because she was going to find out anyway. So since August, the marriage between Anthony and Ellie has been very rocky. On October 14, 2024, Anthony Shea called 911 and reported that he found his wife dead in their bedroom. The police came and Anthony told them that his wife was suicidal and he believed she committed suicide. Once the police did the investigation, they realized it couldn't have been suicide. So Anthony changed his story and said he found her dead, but he made it look like it was suicide, which made no sense at all. So at that point, they realized Anthony was not telling the truth. And subsequently, they listened to a recording that was on Ellie's phone and found out that it was impossible that she killed herself. And Anthony actually did it and then they arrested him. Now imagine this, Ellie is married to Anthony and they have two kids and Anthony is running around with other women and doing whatever he wants to and Ellie finds out that he's cheating and instead of him being apologetic and trying to salvage the relationship, trying to get another job, he decided that the best thing to do was to kill his wife. So he went ahead and killed his wife while his two kids were in the house and then staged the scene to look like it was a suicide. Anthony Shea has been a police officer for the past 
18 years. And this man has no moral compass. The fact that he killed his wife shows he has no moral compass at all. Additionally, he did that in the presence of his kids. Ellie is 39 years old and she has two beautiful kids, Lana, age seven, and Raquel, age two. And she's married to Anthony. And it was the worst thing she ever done. Is, is marriage a death sentence for women? Is it a death sentence? Why are so many married women being killed? You know, when you marry someone, you promise to love them unconditionally and protect them. How does this end up with murder? How could a 39 year old woman who has done nothing to harm anyone end up dead at the hands of a man who promised to love and protect her? So now her two kids are now without a father because he's going to be convicted and he's not coming out anytime soon and without their mother. Imagine growing up without a mother for the rest of your life. I always try to put myself in the victim's shoes and it always breaks my heart just to imagine. I'm a grown man and my mother is still alive and if my mother was to pass away now, well, I would be so heartbroken. I would cry for months. So you imagine a little child whose mother has been taken away in the worst way by their father and they're never going to see their mother again. She's never going to hug them again, never going to kiss them, never going to put them to bed. She's never going to get a chance to play with them, see them grow up because their father decided he wanted to cheat and he wanted to break the law and he wanted to murder his own wife. He's a despicable human being. How could he go from being an 18 year police vet to a murderer in one second? How could he switch? And as a police officer, you see cases every single day. That's part of your life. How did Anthony think that he was going to fool detectives into thinking his wife committed suicide. Do you imagine the horror that she was going through knowing her husband was about to kill her? Do you imagine the pain she felt? I'm sure in her last moment she was thinking about her kids and protecting her kids. I'm sure because I'm sure the first thing that went through her mind is he's going to kill me and he's going to kill the kids. And she was helpless. Imagine this. Ellie was a police officer also and she's been in the police force for at least 13 years and she also had a gun and she couldn't defend herself. And the reason she couldn't defend herself is because he took her by surprise. That's a fact. Now imagine all the other women who have been murdered who are not police officers. Just imagine they definitely didn't stand a chance because a man don't even need to have a gun in order to murder a woman because a man is about four to five times stronger than a woman. That's why you have to be careful with the type of man you pick to spend your life with. Be careful of the man you get emotionally attached to. Be careful of the man you get sexually attached to and be careful of the man that you marry because when you marry someone, there's a lot of reasons now that they can decide that they want to get rid of you. Usually the number one reason is money. Because now that you're married, if you get a divorce, they don't want to split the assets. He think he can kill the woman, get away with it, and keep the house and the car and everything else. And that's the main problem. Greed. Why not just get a divorce and split up the money and split up the house or whatever and everybody go along their merry way? Why does somebody have to die? Why are people so selfish and evil and wicked? Just try to imagine the pain and anguish that lady felt before she died. Just imagine all the pain her kids are going to go through for the rest of their life knowing that they wouldn't have a mother around to comfort them in the highs and in the lows. People like Anthony should not exist on this earth. He's in Florida. I hope he get the death penalty. That's what I like about states like Florida. There's a number of states that still has a death penalty. I like those states just for that. Because you know what happens? These men, they kill these women. Then they go sit in jail, get three square meals and, and they can exercise and, and watch TV and listen to the radio and see the Yankees game. And it's not fair. It's not fair. And people say that, well, killing the person won't bring back the dead person. I really don't care. If you can kill someone, then we can kill you. That's it. I don't care because I feel like the death penalty is a deterrent. If someone know that they could be killed, that deters some people from doing wrong. It wouldn't deter everybody. It will deter some people from murdering people. He's probably going to get life in prison and it's just not fair because Ellie's is going to be six feet under. She's never going to be able to smile again. Never going to be able to grow old and see her kids. Never going to be able to find true love because obviously the love that Anthony had for her wasn't true love. It never was. You can never claim to love someone and then kill them. Never. Do people even know what love is anymore? Do anybody know that what that means anymore? Or is it when things don't go your way, you just kill somebody? And the sad part about this is that Ellie 
is totally innocent. She did nothing wrong. She's married. She's devoted. She goes to work every day. She takes care of two kids. What did she do wrong to deserve to be killed? The only thing she did wrong was marry that piece of shit. That's what she did wrong. But how was she to know? How was she to know that he was going to turn out to be this type of man? I want to say that every case that I've seen have broke my heart. And this case is no different. Ellie's girls could have the love and support. I know that Ellie's family is going to be taking care of them. And I'm sure they're going to do a great job. But let me tell you something. There's nothing in this world that can replace the love of your mother nothing so they have a gofundme and i'm going to leave the link in the description i want to thank you all for watching this video and i want to let you know that if there's anyone that's going through domestic violence or they even feel like it's about to happen to them you have to get out you gotta do something don't let your boyfriend know don't let your husband know you're leaving but you gotta plan and leave a lot of times when you, you tell them you're about to leave that's when you get killed that's when the abuse gets worse being in a relationship with a man shouldn't be a death sentence and being married to a man definitely shouldn't be a death sentence this has to stop if you know someone that's in a bad situation help them offer support offer a place where they can be safe there's a domestic violence hotline call that number and get some help that's it for this video i see you guys in the next one